Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to install a Samsung dishwasher, specifically model number DW80R5060US. However, this installation will apply to all current Samsung models. This is a thorough step-by-step -step guide that is timestamped, so feel free to skip to whatever sections you're looking for. Let's get right to it. Before we get started, if you haven't uninstalled your existing dishwasher, check out this link right here. I'll walk you through step by step how to get your previous unit uninstalled. The other thing I'm going to go ahead and do is just point out the installation area to get you ready to go for the new installation. First thing I'm going to reference is underneath your sink. I want to point out that we're going to be draining into a garbage disposal. So the options you're going to have is either to drain into this connection that you see right up here for the, from the garbage disposal, otherwise you're going to have the PVC piping under the sink that will include a drain connection that you'll hook up your drain hose. Then the other thing is the water supply line. It's either going to be like a CPVC or copper piping. So you want to be able to identify the supply that is feeding, uh, the, you know, the, the shutoff valve that's feeding the dishwasher. And final, um, as far as the connections is going to be your electrical. The, if your dishwasher has a plug-in, then it's going to plug right into the outlet that will be located under your sink, as you can see we have here, right there. And the final thing to do, as far as the installation goes, is going to be where your lines are actually ran. If you look back here in the back corner, I'm going to be running my water supply line right through that bottom hole, and then up top I have another hole that I've drilled out separately for the drain hose. Your setup may be slightly different because some it's a different depending on your um, the angle that the dishwasher is sitting as well as the cabinet. You may have to run both your drain hose and your su supply line through the bottom. But in our setup here, we have plenty of room because of the angle that it's sitting at. Um, but just keep that those things in mind there. Then finally, this is going to be the installation area for like a standard 24 inch dishwasher. Your dishwasher options are typically either a 24 inch or an 18. The 24 is the standard size for a dishwasher. And um, the, as far as the securing of it, you're either going to be securing to like a granite countertop or a quartz or just a wood and you're able to drill right into. Um, there's another video that I actually will walk you through how to secure to a hard surface. But other than that, we're ready to get started. Let's go ahead and unpackage your dishwasher and see what's included. First thing, you're going to see that you're going to have like a strap like this, a couple of straps that are on the Samsung dishwasher. Typically, if you can you turn the flap inside, you know, from, to go to the inside of it and just pull on it, it'll actually weaken it and it just allows you to just pull that off. Or, of course, you can use a knife to cut it. Then, this particular dishwasher, the box is just slid over top of it, so you can simply just lift it up. And get all your styrofoam out of the way and then you're going to want to remove it from the styrofoam base that it's on so easiest way lift it up you just move it down and then just you can walk it off like this all right let that move and just make sure got everything done here now on the side here what you're going to see this is going to be your kick plate just put here on the side, put that out of the way. So this is the kick plate that we'll be using in later steps. While we're actually looking at this side, I'm going to show you the back. So Samsung actually equips the drain hose already pre-attached and it's secured to the back as you see. So that's going to be the drain hose and inside the washer. We're looking at going to remove all the tape that is potentially keeping the door from securing there. So we get out of the way. All right. Then once you get inside, 
you're going to be looking for your installation hardware and guide, and that's this right here. This is going to include your owner's manual, some installation instructions, and your mounting brackets and screws. In addition to what's included with your dishwasher, you're also going to need a dishwasher kit to complete your installation. What you're going to typically find in a dishwasher installation kit is the 6 foot steel braided stainless steel knot line. It's also going to have your 90 degree brass fitting as well as the drain clamp, a clamp for your, to connect uh, the drain hose. And as far as the electric, you also, in our situation, because we're doing a direct plug-in, we're going to need a power cord as well as wire nuts to get that connected. And if yours is not using a, if you're not, if yours is not a direct plug-in and it's just being plugged in hardwired directly, then you'll just need the wire nuts without the cord, of course. It's not necessary that your dishwasher is plugged in. It just depends on the setup prior to you beginning this installation. I see both sides of it. Sometimes they're hardwired, sometimes they're direct plug-in. But there is a link in the description that includes my recommended dishwasher kit that will include all of this stuff for you, um, make it a little easier. All right, let's go ahead and get your dishwasher prepared. In addition to your dishwasher kit, you're going to also need the, the tools you're going to need are going to be a I'm going to use a 5 8 inch wrench to secure the stainless steel uh, steel braided line. If you don't have a 5 8 you can also just use an adjustable wrench. So this is a 5 inch 5 8 open wrench or you could use this adjustable wrench to be able to secure that. You'll also need like a, a pair of pliers or a crescent wrench so that you can actually attach the fitting itself. And I'm gonna, I have a multi-tool screwdriver with a few different bits that we'll need to in, in, in these steps, as well as an Allen key, and it's the 9 64th inch size. I'll try to show you that so you know what you're gonna need. Um, and that's actually used to level the back leg on the dishwasher. Um, so first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna get your drain hose freed up from the back of the dishwasher. So get that freed up out of the way. And what we're also gonna do is I'm gonna point out where your water connection is made for the dishwasher is right down here. So you see this, uh, it might be in the way, let me move that out of the way so you can see it. It's this guy here. Go ahead and get this removed for right now and I'll, we'll walk through the steps. So this guide right here actually tells you specifically what size elbow you need and the steps on how to get that secured specifically. I'm gonna walk you through it but this also shows you a little bit clearer um, on what to do there. But first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is get the dishwasher on its back. As you lay this down, just make sure you don't, you, you run the drain hose through the little channel on the back so that it doesn't end up on the back of the, uh, behind the dishwasher and, and crush the bottom. So. All right, we're gonna get started with the electrical. And I'm gonna show you here what we're gonna do. Because we're doing a direct plug-in, your electrical box is right here. So you wanna go ahead and remove this cover. And in our case, we're going to go ahead and attach the power cord and get that set up. So in this, once you remove that cap, you're going to find three wires. Your green ground wire, and then, then you have your hot and your neutral, so the black and white wires that you see here. So if you're doing a hard wire, you're not going to be able to do this step right now. It's, you're going to have to perform this step when the dishwasher is upright and getting ready to slide in. And the purpose of this, let me show you this track. Um, right here, along here, this is the track that you're going to be able to use. So if you're doing a hard wire connection, you're going to need to run the uh, electric line that's coming you know, from the back side of the wall, you know, behind the dishwasher. Just run it up through here, get it up to this box. And then you want to use like... Um, the, you're gonna need a, an additional part that connects to the ground, the the, the secures the, to the to this electrical box, and I'll actually include the description of, of the size that you'll need. It's just the ground that goes there. 
Um, on our power cord, ours comes pre-attached, so we, you know, we don't need that here. But I'll, I'll include some details on what you'll need for the appropriate size. But let's go ahead and knock this out. Then this pretty much is as easy as it looks. Um, all you're doing is connecting. It's important if you're doing a power cord. It's important that you just you know your your uh, these are cleaned up so that it makes a good connection with the with the wire nuts. I like to keep them nice clean and. You're simply just going to fish that through this bottom part. Once this goes in, it just clips in. And just like that. And then once that's in, you're just going to connect your, make your connections. So black, of course, is going to go with black. And white goes with white. And the green goes with green. In this step, what's really important that you do is make sure you have a, a tight connection with you know, nothing loose here because it can short with the vibrations and the shaking of the dishwasher. You can short it if it's not a, a solid connection. So best way to do this is get your tips right in line with each other, get them as close as possible. You don't want to do any twisting. Just get them close as you see there and then use the wire nut to actually twist and make the connection. You want these to be as even as possible. So if you need to cut one down or trim it down a little bit, definitely do so in this step so that you have no exposed line, just gives you a nice... So as you can see, just use the wire nut itself to secure, to make a, a, a tight connection. And to test it, just give each line a tug, just make sure it doesn't break loose. So after you get it tight all the way through, just tug on each of those. And you're going to repeat the same thing for your white and your ground, your neutral and your ground. So the same thing, just go here. Boom. That nice and tight. And then just make sure they're tight there. And finally we'll do the ground. Alright. Once that's all done. I guess to double check all your corrections, they're good and tight. And you can go ahead and put the um, cap back on now if you're doing a power cord. Um, but, or typically I like to wait till the end to make sure that I don't have any issues. But we're going to go ahead and, for demonstration purposes, we're just going to go ahead and put this cap back on now and get that ready to go. This goes back on, and then it's, that's just a Phillips. Um, screw that's holding that down. Once you get that all connected up and you're getting ready to stand up the dishwasher, you can see these little flaps that are right here. There's two of them. This will make it a lot easier actually like that. This way the, the um, cord itself doesn't end up going whichever direction it wants, it'll keep it in line with this track. Now we're going to go ahead and make the water connection. So we're going to get back down here where I, we pulled this fitting off before. This is going to be the inlet valve for the water supply. You're going to see a little, some people mistaken it for packaging, but that little screen is actually there to protect the dishwasher from like hard water composites. So do not remove it. It is intended to stay there. You leave that alone, but in this step, what you're going to need um, is, and I'm going to just give you a show you here, we're going to need this fitting that was included with the dishwasher, the 90 degree that you're going to find in your dishwasher kit, as well as your stainless steel braided line. So the first step is going to be getting this attached with this fitting. What you're going to want to do is, your fitting is going to come similar to this setup. It's going to have the rubber seal as you see inside, and what you're going to want to do is go ahead and just pop out the gasket right from here and remove this, take this apart. All we're going to need from this fitting is actually this on this particular Samsung dishwasher. This is how all kits are going to come. You're going to see that it's a common thing. Samsung uses their own connection that secures to the inlet valve. 
And then what you're going to do is remove the, this seal from this fitting and simply taking this fitting, you're going to run it right through here and after you do that, you'll put back the rubber gasket. So now it looks like this. So you pretty much replaced. Just make sure you have it in there evenly and the rubber gasket is pushed all the way to the bottom so that you don't have any leaks. So just like that. Now the next step is to get this secured to the dishwasher. So once this is done, now as you start to tighten this down, so it's just simply just tightens down and this is done by hand. You do not need any tools for this step since you're using this fitting. You're just gonna simply tighten this down and as you get tighter, you're gonna wanna make sure that the, the line, this, uh, the, the, the fitting itself is pointing in the direction towards your sink. Ours is gonna be going that way. So once you get it in that direction to avoid it from continuing to spin, just put a hand on it hold it and just tighten this down so again don't use any tools here to tighten this as much as you can tighten and you'll feel it it'll stop on its own the rubber gasket that's in there will make the seal that's necessary so just tighten this as tight as you can possibly go by hand and all the way up until this part is no longer loose. This shouldn't be able to spin in, in any way. Then you know it's nice and tight. So if this is still spinning, you don't have a tight enough connection. This should be nice and tight, not able to spin in any way. Just tighten it as much as, as, as far as it'll go. Then at this point, you're gonna go ahead and grab your steel, stainless steel braided line and go ahead and connect that. And right here, as I said, you can either use an adjustable wrench or a 5 8 inch open wrench. And actually, what I want to point out, one other thing before I get that secured. As you can see in your stainless steel hose, there's, it's actually, it, it has a seal built into it. So you won't need any kind of Teflon or putty for it to seal. It'll actually go ahead, uh, this is a, the thread makes the seal that's necessary. And then the, the gasket that's inside the, the rubber seal will actually seal it up so you don't have any leaks once that's there now just grab your wrench and get that tightened down you don't want to over tighten these these are you know over tightening them can create a leak for you so you want to just get it to where it goes tighten it by hand as much as you can go and then typically if you go as far as you can by hand you can't even go a full turn to where it's tight, um, you know, fully tight. So we're nice and tight, and um, that's, that's pretty much now this is ready to go. All right, the final step in preparing your dishwasher is going to be getting your mounting brackets added to the dishwasher. In this bag of hardware that included the mounting brackets, you have two sets of screws. So these are they're going to be the ones that are actually used... These, are those, those, these ones are going to be used to secure the dishwasher to either your cabinet or the countertop. And then these are actually used for the kick plate. So they're gold in color. The gold ones are for the kick plate and the silver screws are to actually secure the dishwasher itself. I'm just going to set these aside for right now. So in this step, um, what you're going to be, what you need to consider is whether or not you're going to be securing this. This, uh, this particular dishwasher has the option to do a side mount. So if you have granite countertops or quartz, uh, you know, there are a few different ways of securing it. And one of them is, allows you to do a side mount with this particular dishwasher. So I'm gonna point that out first. So that's not what we're doing here. We're gonna actually be securing this to the bottom of the dishwasher, but I'd like to go ahead and show you what to look for. So in right here where the dishwasher, you got these little tabs that pretty much pops out. You just use like a flathead screwdriver to get that out. And once that pops out, that's gonna give you the access hole so that you can run the screw through there for the bracket. And then what happens is you're gonna take this and it has a pre-drilled 
slot right there so this goes just like this and then it goes like that and then what happens is when you run the screw through the inside access it ends up securing right here so what you could do now is go ahead I'll point this just for an easier visual this bracket as you can see move it back a little bit it's, got, it's perforated right there so just if you're doing a side mount you can go ahead and separate this but before doing that make sure that when you have this here and the dishwasher is in the space that it's in just so that you don't you know ruin this bracket because you have multiple options you can either secure it through the access through the hole or if you don't have a filler piece in this portion you're not going to have access then that's just going to be flapping back here you can also then use these front holes again you got a few different tabs that you could utilize um, so that you could secure it to the the side of the cabinet um, so you could use these so before doing that I recommend waiting until you know exactly where the, the dishwasher is going to be placed then adjust this based on um, your your setup you know the, based on your setup there but as I said we're going to be doing a top mount but a uh, top uh, a top mount inst uh, installation so I'll show you that that's going to be as simple as this all you're going to do is you also once again you have a couple slots that these will slide into which is simply goes right in through here and up just like that on both sides and that's it there's nothing further that you need to do here it just gets it in place and once we slide the dishwasher in place um, if we find that for whatever reason these this tab is too long we don't need any then we can cut it off I don't recommend doing anything at this point until you know exactly where the dishwasher is going to be secured and then we can make the adjustment so we went over everything from mounting the dishwasher to how we're going to do the electrical connection then your drain hose as we discussed your drain is directly attached from the Samsung factory for on Samsung dishwashers nothing further to do at this point and then adding the fitting and the supply line for your water supply so dishwasher, the dishwasher at this point is ready to start to we can start the installation process and sliding it in place okay before we start to slide the dishwasher in place I do want to point out a couple of things your leveling legs are going to be right here you got in the front side you got one on each side these are pretty easy to turn by hand to start but once you have pressure on them it makes it a little bit harder um, or once you have you know the, the dishwasher standing but they do as you can see there's grooves all the way around the leg that allows you to easily slide like a flathead screwdriver and turn in whichever direction that you need so as you can see it just, it just goes right in and then you could do this um, I recommend at this point is just so it's, if, if yours is tightened down all the way typically that's how you may find them just break it loose to make it a little easier so break loose both sides so the way you're gonna adjust this rear leg is using the T-bit that I mentioned which is the 964 and as you can see it's got a little diagram here that shows you which direction you need to go for up or down again it go ahead and break that loose so that it it's easier to do when there's no pressure on it but I'm good so if you take a look as I'm adjusting that you can see it moving so um, but in this step because I'm actually doing it from this angle there's no pressure on it um, there's no harm done but I don't recommend using any kind of driver drill when you're actually using it to, to level the dishwasher because they just got too much torque my recommendation is just to be able to do it by hand as best as possible with like a um, the multi driver screwdriver just put it on there and just do it by hand because you it, it's all plastic parts if that bit just does too much then it can easily just break that mechanism that's working because if you overdo it but so just do it by hand but the, what's important for right now is just break it loose just so that it's at least began it's ready to go and now it's time to go ahead and feed your lines and push the dot, your dishwasher in place but if as I mentioned previously if yours is a gonna be a hard wire direct your electric line will be in this area somewhere what's really important in this step is to just run the electric line in line with the channel that leads up to the electrical box for the, in front of the dishwasher so just line it up so that as you slide the dishwasher in place that line can fall in track um, you know and just end up in the front so that you can make your electrical connections after the dishwasher is pushed into place you can't do it here 
unless you have a really long electric line, which would be nice, it'd be ideal. If you have a long electric line, go ahead and do it when you have the space. It's much easier for you to make those electrical connections while the dishwasher is out here, um, rather than it, you know the limited space that you'll have when it's actually in place. But it's still doable that way as well. The electric lines can be shorter behind there. The other thing I want to go ahead and point out is your inlet valve for the water supply is located on the back. It's not easy to be able to tell if you have a leak, especially depending on the levels of you know, your flooring and things of that nature. So I, I recommend what you can do at this point. If you have a long line and it can reach, then that'd be great. But typically once you run this line under the sink, in order to get it to where it needs to get, the dishwasher is already pushed into place. Now you no longer have eyes in the back of the dishwasher to be able to determine if you have a leak or not. Once that connection is made, before you start slide the dishwasher in place, I recommend going ahead and connecting this to your valve. It just saves you a lot of hassle. And like I said, I don't like to have uncertainty with my installation. So what I, what I would do here is go ahead and take your supply line and go ahead and connect it to your inlet valve right here. Make that connection. Again, you can use an open wrench or a 5 8 open wrench or an adjustable wrench. Just go ahead and secure that and turn the water on. Let the water run. Make sure at that point, while you have eyes on the back of the dishwasher, you can now tell if you have a leak or a drip and address it at this point. Um, but for demonstration purposes, we can skip that step and keep on rolling. I'm gonna go ahead and fish my lines. So my hole for the drain hose is up top because I have the room to be able to do it. In some circumstances, when the dishwasher uh, space is directly next to the sink, you don't have this angle space, you may not have the room to be able to run the, uh, without like pinching the line to, to run it through the top. If you gotta run it through the bottom, you'll have a hole in your cabinet, pretty much in this area right down at the bottom, you're just gonna run your drain hose right through there. So either run it through that bigger, you know, a hole that would fit those lines or um, through the top like mine, if you have a space like this, then we can go ahead and, I'm gonna get this a little closer, but all we're gonna do now is I'm gonna run my power cord right through this cabinet and my water supply line. So now as you slide the dishwasher in place, what you're going to want to do is be mindful of your hoses that are right through the electrical lines. So as you slide it in place, once you get, you begin the, that process, just get under your sink and just make sure you pull your lines so that they're not, they don't bunch up behind the dishwasher. So I got these here and then my drain hose. So I got my drain hose, I got my power cord, and I got my supply line. Pull those through and then in this step, you're just gonna do it little by little as, until you get the dishwasher into position. So push it, push it through, and then come back over and just make sure your lines are still free and not bunched up or pinched behind the dishwasher so you can get them all into the positions that you're going to need them to get them secure. Now it's time to go ahead and make the connections under the sink. Um, first thing I'm going to go ahead and start off with, I'll get this cord out of the way, I'm going to plug that in. It just goes right here. And then we can go ahead and, as I mentioned before, the water line, the water supply line is going to get connected to this CPVC, CPVC, uh, CPVC um, and we won't need that, but these lines are basically plastic and very, can be very fragile and if there, it's an older CPVC, then it's also going to be brittle. So just make sure when you're securing this line to this, you're not just putting it on there and and then once you start tightening, just make sure you have a handle on that pipe, just holding it before you actually start cranking down on the, on the fitting. Um, once again, this doesn't need to be, 
you know, don't over tighten it. Just do it by hand as much as possible as you see I did. I'm pretty much as far as I'll go. And then in this final step of securing that, hold this line, the, the, the line, however your setup is, just, if it's free, just similar to this, just get, get a good grip on this and then tighten it down so that you don't risk cracking this pipe. So we'll go ahead and get that tightened down. Once you do it by hand as far as it'll go, there shouldn't be much more that it needs to go. All right, and then once that's nice and tight, you can go ahead and turn your water on. This way, it has plenty of time to fill and just get everything prepared. Then as you're, once, once you're done with that part, you can go ahead and make your drain connection. So if you're draining into the garbage disposal, be sure to make sure that all garbage disposals will be equipped with a stopper that is located inside here for those that aren't installing a dishwasher or draining into their garbage disposal. So just run a screwdriver right through here just to make sure that, that the plug that's inside has already been knocked out. So as you can see ours is just run it through, you'll see it's nice and clear. And then you're gonna go ahead and locate your drain clamp. Once you get that there, get that added to the drain hose and position it into place. And you're gonna grab, depending on the clamp style that you're using, the drain clamp, um, just you could, this particular one has, you could do a flat head or a socket. Um, but it's, it's either option and then just t tighten this down and uh, in comparison to the other the other lines the supply line this one you can tighten as much as as much as it'll go but once that's on there nice and tight it's not going anywhere so we got everything connected here um, our drain hose our power is plugged in our water supply is also secured all right before leveling and securing your dishwasher I recommend you go ahead and just test test it out. Make sure that you're getting power and everything is functioning um, as it should. And all you have to do is just a quick cycle. Just power it on and go ahead and just do a short cycle if you think you gotta move, but simply just power it on. And you can either do a rinse cycle or just get it started. You're not gonna go through a complete cycle, just anything. You can do normal, hit start button. Um, it's pretty simple on this particular model. So once you power it on, you choose your cycle, choose your options and hit start, but go ahead and hit start. After you hit start, you have three seconds to, um, or just a couple seconds there to just close the door so that it begins the cycle. Once that starts, um, you'll actually hear it start to prepare um, the, the dishwasher to operate. You'll also hear, hear it fill with water. Once it starts to fill, let it fill and get to the point where it starts to wash. Once it starts washing, then you go ahead and just you can pop it open. Um, and once you pop it open, that's an automatic pause on it. Once it starts washing, uh, washing, you can go ahead and just cancel the cycle so that it'll drain. And you can simply do that by holding down the start button for three seconds. You hold on the start button for three seconds. And what that's going to do is cancel the cycle that you're in and activate the pump so that it'll drain out any water. So go ahead and get that done before you go through all the trouble of getting it leveled and secured. All right, now we're going to go ahead and level the dishwasher. And what you want to do is go ahead and close this gap as much as you can um, just so that you have a nice flush clean look and in this process what I usually like to do is just you could pretty much raise the front just like this and as I said you can probably do a little bit by hand but just go ahead and grab your flathead screwdriver and all you got to do is just turn this and you know you just go here and get that down don't go all the way up quite yet just attempt to start closing that gap on both sides and then once that's once you have that up a little bit then I'll show you we'll go ahead and start working on the back leg at the same time so I'm here and all we're gonna do now is go back to your t-bit that's right here in the center and the easiest way to do this is try to grab, uh, lean the, uh, grab the dishwasher so that you can get it to lean forward a little bit to take the pressure off of the, off of that back leg. So as you can see, I got a handle on it, and then go ahead and just drop down that, um, that back leg. Nice and easy. 
until you feel that it's made contact with the floor. Yep, I made my contact. So once that's there, um, do a little bit more. I'm gonna go up, raise it up a little bit more here. Now we're on the floor. As you can see, my dishwasher's got a slight lean to the front. And we're gonna go back to the front legs again and do the same thing. So here, now I can go back to this. And it, you know. there we'll do the same thing on the opposite side and we're down to the ground all right so just basically do that back and forth until you get as close as you can to it being um, perfect in the space. You may, you may have to adjust it, slide it in and out a little bit, and um, getting it into the proper spot. So I've still got a little bit more work to do. Do it by hand. All right, so once you get it to, um, there's a few checkpoints that you can reference so that you have a nice flush uh, and you know um, level install is you can go ahead and look at your gaps you know from the bottom of the counter to the top of the dishwasher just get a nice clean gap as you see I got a little bit more adjusting to do on this side get that done so once you get it as close to as possible to you know, visible to the eye you can now grab your level and just take a look so that your, that you know the, the dishwasher itself is level. It is important that it's level, especially on Sa the Samsung dishwasher, because if it's not level, um, it'll actually create a problem for you where the door's not sealing, and potentially um, you'll have a leak from the, from the door itself. So whenever you're looking at side to side, it is important that this is, it is square in the hole and level, and then of course, when you're looking at the back, um, actually, you can see the bubble here, right there in the center. So as I go up a little bit more, looks like I can give it a little bit of a raise a little higher. But as you can see, that's there. So when it's going to, um, as far as the back, like as far as leveling it front to back, it just needs to be level. You don't need to lean the dishwasher to the back. You install it, the tub is already pre-installed so that it is in the right, um, at the right angle for draining purposes. So just get it level with the floor. So I, I'm able to do it a little bit higher on my front legs so I can get it to lean back just a tad bit more. thing of course to keep in mind is just making sure that your space on both sides is even so just take a look here got a nice even space um, and then look at the the opposite side depending on the so we can actually shift over to the right a little bit more so those are the things you want to just look at so once you sh shift it a little bit get it even and you can see right in here once you have it in place you got this rubber seal that's in there to give you that built-in look so it just fills in that space between the dishwasher and the cabinet and in this process once you get the dishwasher level now is going to be the time to go ahead and get your 
dishwasher is secure and if what we're going to do in this part because we got our brackets basically here installed um, at the top of the dishwasher and we're simply going to just secure it to the bottom of the cabinet so I'm going to go ahead and grab my these are the mounting screws as I for that and all we need for these is just the Phillips bit we'll go ahead and pop that on and get it secured right here and we got plenty of surface which is nice angle that down so we don't have to we didn't have to adjust our bracket in any way and then just simply go here nice and tight there and we got one on this side so it's now secured um, to the top if you're doing a side mount same process once again what I showed you earlier you got your tabs that are here so if you're doing a side mount and it lines up just access this through here and you got to have a nice hard you know, surface on the opposite side so that you can secure the skewer tube but if you have a setup where your dishwasher is sliding in a little deeper perfectly fine if you just there's no you know r r uh, rhyme, or r rhyme or reason to it you can secure it to the front portion of the cabinet um, if you happen to have to secure it to the cabinet be sure to pre-drill that these are it's very easy to split this if you just take the screw as you saw it was a little bit of a you know thicker screw um, it can easily split this cabinet so if you are securing to the cabinet definitely pre-drill the hole a little bit just give it a pre-drill so that you don't end up with the face of your cabinet um, split so once that's secured um, now your final step is just getting your kick plate installed so at this point at this point in the video you've already tested your connections you've done a test cycle to make sure the unit's working properly you made sure there's no there's no um, leaks and there's power everything's functioning as it should now your final step would be to put the kick plate on so this is the last thing you do once you're you're completely done with the with the install and again the screws for the kick plate are also just a Phillips head and it simply just slides on this goes up just like that and you're gonna simply just push this into place like so and locate the the holes for the screws just like we get access to them all right so so we're gonna be right here The driller or screwdriver, so you got that, and then same thing on this side, just push this into place. And as you saw, that the rubber flap that's behind the counter or the, the kick plate just gets tucked, tucked underneath, and then this holds it in place. Yeah. Kick plate's on. And the dishwasher is ready for action. I hope this video helps. Go ahead and like and subscribe for more content like this.